Hello, I'm Coach Conan with UCLE, and I'm going to talk about injury prevention today. We're going to be focusing on the shoulders, the hips, the knees, and your ankles. This is important because volleyball is a strenuous sport with lots of impact on the joints and muscles. So strengthening your muscles and uh, flexibility will prevent and ensure you maintain strength throughout the long season. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about is with your hips, a 90-90 stretch that will help uh, open up your hip flexors. What you want to do first is create a 90 degree angle in front of you and then a 90 degree angle behind you. And then you're going to lean into your front to, to activate your front hip flexor and then to lean back to get your back leg activated. Okay. Another big thing is to when you switch your legs, you want to be able to pivot here to really open up your hip flexors and get everything all activated. And then you wanna just continue the motion so and then both are getting the same amount of treatment. And now a series that you can do flat on your back. You're going to lean back and you're going to bring your knee to your chest. Holding this for about 30 seconds is gonna be the most ideal. From this position, I like to go straight up into my straight leg, right? This is gonna help our hamstrings out really lengthen them. If you have a partner to pull, to push against you like this, will help uh, activate it a little bit more. And then the last thing you wanna get your arms straight out and bring your leg across your body. This is gonna help your hip flexors again, but then also your lower back. A full body work that you can do is getting onto all fours, getting onto your knees and hands, and then lifting up off Lifting your knees off the ground is going to engage your core, your back, and your shoulders here. And being able to hold this position for about a minute is going to give you the maximum uh, effects. Next, we'll do some exercises using your wall that everybody has at home, right? So what you want to do is place both, both of your hands against the wall and bring your toe to the wall with your heel securely on the ground and then you're going to lean forward. What this should be doing is activating your calves and your hamstrings, and then you can make sure that you do both, both legs. The next one, you're going to take your hands. A beginner level for this exercise is to get your hands above your head, feet uh, good spacing away from the wall, and then ducking your head in between your shoulders and pushing against the wall at the same time. A more advanced way to do this is to get much further and try to get your back flat and then holding this position again for about 30 seconds. All right, next thing what we're gonna do is a sumo squat hold. So this is gonna help strengthen the flexibility and the limits of your muscles. So you're gonna get your feet outside of your shoulders and then sit straight down, maintaining a upright posture with our upper torso. And we're going to try to hold this position for about a minute right? It's going to get really intense, so make sure you work your way up to it. Holding it for a whole minute right to start is going to be extremely difficult for most athletes, but this is going to help with our hips, our hamstrings, and then being able to control our body. Next thing is going to be if you have a band like this, this is going to be a volleyball player's best friend because it helps with a lot of shoulder and ankle exercises. The first one that is we're going to talk about is getting your band straight in front of you, holding it a little relaxed, and then you want to pull it behind your head, right? And as you're pulling it behind your head, you're going to pinch your shoulder blades in to really focus on your shoulders full rotation, okay? I'll give you a back view. So in front of me, coming back here, being able to pinch and feel that full rotation of your shoulder is important for volleyball and, and your shoulder health overall. Next one, you're going to want to stand on the end of your band and you're just going to want to pull up very explosively forward to your side and then to your angle. Again, focusing on all the ways that your shoulder will rotate and building the muscle memory is going to help keep your shoulder intact over a long season with lots of swings. Last one to help all, all of my hitters out there in volleyball, you want to take your band, do some, some way to anchor the band underneath your armpit or beneath your back is going to help you with this motion. This hitting motion that is very crucial to all hitters is going to be this upwards motion, focusing on triceps and your shoulders reaching up high. All right. Another way to anchor this is going to be to get the 
band behind your back, grab it here, and then continue to pull, making sure that your anchor point isn't moving. Next thing is going to be just a dead hang. What you wanna do with the dead hang, it's gonna help you decompress your shoulder and your spine. You wanna grab it in this uh, standard position, and then you wanna let your body weight hang, and you wanna do this for about 15 to 20 seconds will probably suffice, but again, 30 seconds is always the magic number to get full effectiveness. This next exercise will help strengthen our ankles. You wanna get one leg up onto a bench or whatever flat surface you can have that'll help you raise your leg. And then you wanna get a good safe distance back. And then you want to continuously bounce on your leg that's on the ground. So you wanna be getting into this motion here. There's the straight up and down bounce, the side to side bounce. And then the last and most difficult one is going to be bouncing and opening your hips up, right? These are gonna help obviously hips ankle strength mostly. Being able to change direction without rolling our ankles is very, very important in volleyball. Ankle exercise could be done standing up or sitting down. You wanna take both ends of your band, step on it, and then have this foot isolated, pulling up on the band so we get re resistance, and pushing our foot down to the ground, trying to get the max flex out of it. So make sure you're going full rotation with your ankle. And like I said, this can also be done sitting down, leg out in front of you and working this motion here, right? The important part is the resistance that you're going to put on your ankle. Beginners, you wanna start nice and loose. Advanced people, you wanna pull it a lot more to get more resistance on your ankle flexion. This exercise is gonna help build more ankle, uh, ankle strength by using dorsiflexion. So you want to be on one knee and leaning forward, getting into this hold, and you're gonna feel your quads engage as well as your calves and your ankles. So make sure when you're doing this, you're doing both even reps and making sure that you're catching yourself with your leg strength and not catching yourself with your torso. Doing these exercises every day will help you maintain strength that you build during the season and also prevent injuries. Trying to make sure you get into a habit of routine with these is gonna make it all the more effective. And speaking from experience, these exercises help me to continue playing after my high school and college playing days. Doing exercises like these allow your body to be ready for impact that volleyball creates on you. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this helped and it's a useful resource to you. Please follow us on all of our social media platforms and be sure to like and subscribe to the video. Thank you, see you on the next one.